Mrs. Holloman. Mrs. Holloman is a woman that I was treating in Los Angeles. I was a very young healer, I maybe a year into it. I'm rubbing her legs with the salve. This salve works for anything. Rest assured, headaches, backaches, I mean, even stretch marks to remove them. Hemorrhoids, just name it, this salve works. So I'm rubbing her legs and the circulation began to reestablish. She said to me, what am I going to eat? I said, drink penny carrot juice, drink beet juice, drink celery juice. And the woman said, stop. She said, son, you know how old I am? I said, yes, ma'am, you're 94. She said, well, I didn't get to 94 being stupid. <laughs> she said, I didn't get to 94 being stupid. And what you just told me was something very stupid. I said, why, ma'am? Or oh, the book says that garlic is a food, and so is the celery, and so is the uh, carrot. You mix them together. She said, son, those things are made. I said, what, man? Made by who? It come out of the ground, man. God made everything that come out of the ground. No, son. <laughs> she said, no, that, that's why you're crazy. Don't do that right now. Don't say that. I said, but man, oh, the book says it. I said, that's what the book says. That's what Ms. Holloman is telling me. That's what the book says. God ain't saying that. And that's true. She said, what you do? Don't tell anyone that you heal her. Stop. Just stop. Stop doing what you're doing because you don't want anyone in the future to do this. You told me something wrong. Don't do it. When I was working as a steam engineer, I was doing this on the side. So I, she told me to go to the University of uh, Arizona, uh, Department of Agriculture, Industrial Agriculture, Plant Husbandry. I went to UCLA, I went to Minnesota, I asked for books that was related to the subject of agriculture. And guess what I found? That everything you find in the supermarket was made. They have 666 varieties of apple. They have 32 varieties of cucumber. Rice, they have about 25 varieties of rice. But you know what we didn't know is that anything that has starch, God didn't make. And do you know that everything that man made has starch in it, whether it is collard greens or mustard greens or whatever? Because God could not have made something with starch because God would make, be making something to offend the people that he so loved. God doesn't do that. So this